In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can factory reset an EVE Room indoor air quality monitor. As performing a factory reset, we'll remove this device from our Apple Home or EVE app, and then return the EVE Room monitor back to its initial setup state. Typically, we would perform a factory reset if we intend to sell or decommission our EVE Room monitor. In order to perform a factory reset, we first need to place our EVE Room monitor into reset mode. To do this, we simply need to press and hold down both of the control buttons that are situated on the front of the device. By continually pressing down on both control buttons for roughly 10 to 15 seconds, the screen will display a reset symbol. We now need to locate the reset switch that is situated on the back of the unit. Using some sort of reset tool, we now need to press the reset switch so that the monitor can complete its factory reset. We will know that the device has been factory reset because the screen will flash twice and it will no longer display an air quality score. Depending on the Apple device that you use to configure your EVE Room indoor air quality monitor will determine if you need to complete the following steps. So because we used an Apple iPad Pro, when we open the Home app, the results from the last sensor reading are still being displayed. While the sensor reading will eventually disappear, it should be noted that the reference to the EVE sensors will not. To demonstrate this point, if we power off our iPad and upon rebooting, reopen the Home app, you can see that a remnant of the links to the sensors remain. To remove this remnant, we simply need to select it and then scroll down to the bottom of the list of information that appears. At the bottom of the list is an option called Remove Accessory. When we select this option, the sense of remnant is removed and we will have completed a factory reset of our EVE Room indoor air quality monitor.